So now the Nepalese army, the Nepalese army chopper, which in fact had just managed to land a short while ago at the possible crash site, claims that it has spotted the missing flight, the Tara Air flight, which went missing earlier this morning at 10.07 a.m. was the last known contact that uh, the aircraft crew, in fact, the flight crew, had made with the local ATC. This was a flight which was flying from Pokhara to Jomsom, which is only a 25-minute flight. <coughs> it took off at 9.55 a.m. local time from Pokhara and it was, in fact, at 10.07 a.m. local time was when the aircraft made last contact with the local ATC. After that, it was missing and all efforts to try and trace it and make contact had proven futile. Now, the Nepalese army claims that they've spotted the missing flight 9NAET is the missing flight number. It is a twin engine order, which is basically a DHC 6300 aircraft. It is a 19 seater. It had 19 passengers, in fact, on board, which included four Indians and two Germans who were on board. And the others were Nepalese nationals. Three crew members were also present on the aircraft. When we spoke to the Tara Air spokesperson as well, who you heard earlier, he did mention that the pilot had ascertained the weather, the climate in the area before takeoff. Uh, and because two other aircraft had earlier this morning, before this particular flight, taken off from Pokhara and landed safely in Jomsom, he had taken the call <coughs> to fly from Pokhara as well. The spokesperson described the weather in the region at the time of takeoff to be not so good, not so bad, marginal weather, comfortable enough to fly. He also claimed that the aircraft, which is over 30 years old, was airworthy as well. So it will be a matter of uh, investigation as to what exactly happened, why exactly did the aircraft in fact lose contact, was it the weather, was it some sort of a technical reason in terms of the aircraft itself, or was it human error? It, of course, uh, remains to be seen if uh, there are any survivors as far as this flight is concerned. But for the moment, some amount of uh, development in that search operation which has been underway since earlier this morning. The Nepalese army chopper, which had been deployed to, in fact, go into the region to locate the aircraft, now claims that they've spotted the missing aircraft. This is in the Mustang area, the Mustang district and what we also know from details that are emerging is that specifically it is the Koban village in Mustang where this aircraft has now been spotted. Tara Air has had a sketchy past as far as uh, air incidents are concerned in terms of accidents and incidents and it is going to be a, a matter of serious investigation to understand what exactly happened, especially because uh, the airline claims the two other aircraft, in fact, had successfully landed in Jomsom earlier this morning. So the pilots of this aircraft and this flight specifically decided that it was safe to fly, that weather was not an area of concern. But eventually, what we also learned is that two private choppers that had been deployed from Pokhara, one from Pokhara and one from Jomsom to try and reach the area which had been located with the help of uh, tracking the pilot's mobile phone, in fact had to return to base because uh, the weather was said to be inclement, the weather was playing spoil sport and hence they couldn't land in the area. Pankaj Das is now joining us uh, live from Nepal. Pankaj, uh, can you give us what the latest details are in terms of the search operations for this uh, Tara Air flight? We believe that the Nepalese army chopper has managed to trace the aircraft.
is the Nepal Army's uh, spokesperson had just informed uh, the journalist that they have uh, got some clue uh, that the uh, missing Air, Tara Airlines has um, found in the Manathali uh, mountain uh, uh, and the team, um, the helicopter has landed in the Thawang area. There, there is a tomb in Thawang area where the uh, Army helicopter has landed and now um, the, all the rescue team of Nepal Army has uh, go on that particular place um, uh, by foot because there is no communication, there is no uh, road or anything else, uh, so that there is only one way. Uh, they have tracking the mobile phone of the pilot, uh, which is still ringing, um, and uh, uh, the Army uh, personnel has go through that uh, uh, that place uh, where the uh, Nepal Tara Airlines uh, flight has uh, found. Pakaj, what is the distance that the personnel on the ground will have to cover from where they've landed to where they believe is the possible site of the aircraft? How much distance do, do they have to cover? How much time before they reach the actual site? So nobody has idea. A Nepal Army official has said that we we don't have a, uh, any idea that how much time it will take uh, because uh, this is a very uh, uh, difficult area and there is no uh, route, there is no road connection. So that uh, they also did not know that how much time it will take. Okay. And uh, any other further details that they're sharing in terms of uh, you know uh, the survivors or any on that aircraft itself. Anything that they've managed to share otherwise as well? Yes, local people has informed to the Nepal armies and the local administration that they have heard the big, very big blast sound and they have also seen the fire on that area where the team is going to. But Nepal army official told that if, when, then only we'll try to get any official information. Okay, okay. Pankaj Das there. Thank you so much for joining us on India Today. Pankaj giving us all the latest details in terms of uh, the search operations that are currently underway for the Tara Air flight that went missing earlier this morning in Nepal.